Hello, I'm your host, Tinfoil Tom, and today we're talking about being terminated by man-eating robots. It should come as no big surprise that out of all things I'm afraid of, that killer robots are in my MySpace top 8 of things to worry about. When I found the top secret file in regards to this mystery, I nearly keeled over in shock. Having my head pitted like an olive and tossed into some Terminator's martini sounds like a horrible way to go. But is it even true? Let's dig up this grave and see what we can find in this coffin of a case. Beginning development in 2003, the Energetically Autonomous Tactical Robot, or conveniently Eater for short, was a project run by a company called Robotic Technologies Inc. for DARPA, a super secret research and development branch of the US military. I mean, these are the guys who created Metal Gear for crying out loud. Did they think a mechanized man-eating robot was seriously a good idea? But I digress. What was this thing even capable of? Was it a serious threat? or just another example of frivolous military spending. Like most things military, this menu consisted of a little from column A and a little from column B and left us taxpayers holding the check. And we didn't even get dessert. The Eater robot was pitched as a long range tool that could operate independently, consuming biomass, which sounds scary as a fuel source and slightly scarier still when you hear a quote from one of the project's leads, Harry Scholl, who, in a 2009 press release, said, quote, We completely understand the public's concern about futuristic robots feeding on the human population, but that is not our mission, end quote. I mean, that's a little sus. This quote was released as part of a PR memo, dropped shortly after public concern about the project hit the mainstream. Slightly more sus was a freaking chainsaw arm attached to the robot for cutting vegetation and whatnot for biomass. A chainsaw arm. On a robot. But we were assured this thing would not eat people. So what did it eat for fuel? Sacrificial blood from its robot altar of doom? Well, amusingly enough, Eater was a strict vegetarian. Or at least that's what it was programmed to be. Basically, this thing could recognize what it was ingesting, and according to a company spokesman in a press release in 2009, quote, the public can be assured that the engine cyclone has developed to power the eater runs on fuel no scarier than twigs, grass clippings, and wood chips, small plant-based items for which RTI's robotic technology is designed to forage, end quote. It could also be powered by conventional methods like gasoline. So, like many vegetarians, this thing can be full of gas. So watch out! Well, this thing can't be all bad. It is a vegetarian. It's kind of like that robot from Short Circuit. You know, a real salt of the earth, wholesome, nice, friendly robot. Wouldn't hurt a- Wait a second. It can be used to deploy high energy laser or microwave weapons? Look at this slide from the company's website on the project. They gleefully showcase that 50 pounds of wood would provide enough energy to kill a missile with Eater Weapons Tech. Uh, how much would it take to kill a squishy human? Like what? A tree branch? A couple of old pine cones? Sure, this thing has a lot of potentially valuable applications, but the second you strap laser beams to a self-propelled robot, you're asking for trouble. What happens when Taco Bell runs out of bean and cheese burritos and Eater is hangry? You become the burrito. Hasn't anyone seen the amazing Tom Selleck documentary robot film Runaway? The robots always turn killer. <sighs> when will we learn? Thankfully for us, this project was discontinued in 2015. So sleep easy, comrades. Well, until next time, I've been your host, Tinfoil Tom, saying, keep searching for the truth. Want more truth? Every week, Tinfoil Tom presents to you the Unbelievable Mysteries podcast. Link to that show is in the description of this video. Thank you for all the support and encouragement. It really means a lot to me. And if you could do me one huge favor, please ring that bell so you get notifications when an upload is posted to this channel. Thank you for your commitment to the truth.